This from Poundland, nice bag. <laughs> so this is really funny. I went out yesterday and I only had the tags hang still hanging from my top. I caught a glimpse of myself as I was walking down the road. I caught a glimpse of myself in a, the window of a parked car and I could see the tag, the tags hang, just hang, hanging from the strap. Of the, hang on, I'll try and show you the tag. The tags, the tags were hanging from the strap as I walked down the road. Honestly. <laughs> Anyhow, um, hang on a moment. Right, I'm trying to, I'm going to try and show you what I mean. <laughs> I'll try to show you what I mean. When I went out yesterday, can you see, the, the, can you see the tag is hanging from here? Well, on the other one, it was like up there somewhere hanging from the strap. So <laughs> I must remember when I go out with this one on to take the tag off. I don't know if I'm back far enough so you can see it. All I can see is like a misty screen when I turn around and look at it. But yeah, there's a tag hanging. Oh, that was quite funny. <laughs> oh dear, embarrassing. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't pass many people before I noticed it. Or many people, I mean, there weren't anyone coming behind me. And I noticed it when I saw my reflection in the car window, oh dear. Oh, it's still recording. Right. Russell, 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 Russell. And some mixed nuts. Mixed roasted nuts from Waitrose, including Brazil. So these may be worth having. And we'll look at this later when I get home from Poundland. Another Nails Ink Nail Polish Special Effects Glitter 3D. Because um, I can't help thinking though, um, if I bought this as a regular Nails Ink Nail Polish, it would be the regular Nails Ink price. Oh, I'm sure if Chanel did a glitter nail polish, that would also be the same price as a regular Chanel. So how can they justify the hefty price tag when it Claire's I've bought glitters from for a pound and they've covered in two coats with no opaque base coat because glitter is glitter I mean you might say well the basic ingredients like the base is of a higher quality in a more expensive nail polish but at the end of the day glitter is glitter um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks like that Perhaps I am. I don't know. I don't know. But this is how my mind wanders onto. Anyhow, you probably haven't even heard me for the rustling of the packaging. So <laughs> I'll be back later.
right into it. This nice chamomile scented toilet tissue from Waitrose. Sainsbury's also sell it, I've shown it before. These retractable earplugs from Poundland. Though my little radio, my little radio from Tesco, the one that I was, you know, talked about before, it doesn't work now. First thing that happened on Thursday, the headphones didn't work when they were plugged in, though the radio itself was still working, and then that evening the radio stopped working. It lights up when batteries and even new batteries are in nothing it, it says power and it lit up, but you can't get any program. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyhow, um from Nail Zinc, another Nail Zinc nail polish from Poundland. Hang on, there'll be a lot of rustling now, I'm afraid. Yeah, sorry about the rustling. I try to minimise it as much as possible. This one is called Fitzroy Square. It's a, it's a pretty blue. Can't find anything to wipe it off with if I. I think they're nice glitters that do cover quite well. I don't even know if you can see that. It's just, like I say, the usual whited out blur. Um, oh, I just need to wipe it on too. So, yeah, it's a pretty blue. I think, you know, I, I wouldn't pay more than a pound for these, I don't think, because glitters, you know, you can get... Well, I don't think any glitter is really worth more than, unless it's a special, um, it just, you know, because when I've got Claire's glitters for, I've talked about this before, so I'll just try it now. Got these from, this one, for these from, this is a authentic, from BHS from Thursday. One of those skirts again. I call them safari skirts. This one is actually my size. It fits okay. I'm not going to bother. To, I'm not going to try it on. I did try it on in the changing room. I might better insert that into the video. I realised that the video I did for the nice, the lovely maxi dress I got from Tammy Girl for only six pound. It didn't really show up very much because, as I said, I went up the stairs and the changing room was, um, I was at the, the end when it was the darkest. And um, so I try and, I did try to lighten it when I put the video together on Windows Live Movie Maker. So I'll try and do something else to try and make it show up a bit more because I think that's such a wonderful bargain for only £6. <laughs> Now I got this skirt from Dorothy Perkins and I had to get a size, they either had three sizes too small or one size too big so I had to get the size that was too big. It's like when I was in Sainsbury's earlier today, Saturday, I went in Sainsbury's and bought those things that I tried on the changing room, I should probably have already inserted those into the video because I tend to insert those first and do the talky bit after. But um, so I'm talking, you know, later on. But. Oh. I try to put it all in order, so that's maybe why they don't always make a lot of sense, because if there's a bit where I filmed in the changing room, but then there was a talking bit filmed before, I usually put that bit in first, the talking bit first, because I like it to go in order, and so then there's a bit in the changing room where I'm not really saying anything, because, you know, you can't really hold a camera there talking to yourself, well, you could, I suppose, I don't want people to hear me, but when I was in Sainsbury's earlier, I bought, a, um, two, I bought three dresses, and I had, I would had to, the only, I had to buy either one size too small or three sizes too big because they never seem to have my size. Um, they obviously always sell out first, so I had to get a size too small. And um, in all three of the ones I, no, one I got was my size, but the other two, they, they were one size too small. But luckily, usually one size too small or one size too big usually fits okay. Just, But this one is um one size too big. And, oh, I didn't try, I, yeah, I did try these on, but I didn't actually show them because I tried them on out in the store. So 
Hang on, let me just try and... don't I but I'll stop it no I won't I'll show you the dresses I've got I'm not going to try these on because I tried them on when I was in the changing room so you will see but they were all half price this one is one size too small so it is a bit tight on top and it's unfortunately one that you can't undo so I'm stuck with it unless I try and alter it in some way I mean some it's like I was oh I'm still unhappy that I missed out on that that nice smock top that they had by two it was dark blue um with ladies with t taking dogs for what um t ladies taking dogs on, out on leads and dogs jumping up like a parisian themed thing but apparently they'd all cut they had 10 of them come in one friday evening and the whole lot went the same evening they came in and then when i was in there the next evening they had one that was on one of the mannequins and it was still there the following week and i said aren't you going to get any more in and they thought they would they said they only just came in but they all sold out straight away because some of the sainsbury's things are a little bit frumpy but this was nice and um and you'd think they'd have more of those that's popular because all the frumpy stuff is left and yet the nice things obviously sell out quickest so they did get this off the mannequin for me to try on i did ask but it was such a small size and it fitted okay apart from the fact that it was a bit tight across the shoulders but it was too i had to have all the buttons undone across my chest i had to have all the buttons undone to wear it so i could have worn it like that but i didn't particularly want to i mean i have bought things that's a a size too small but and they're too tight on top and I have to undo the top buttons and it doesn't usually look too bad but this I thought no it's just I'm not prepared to wear that out like that not with that particular style but um this one's not too bad and it is nice I, I do like the ones that's like how can I explain um the ones that's like gathered under there and then loose it reminds me almost almost like an Edwardian style or something even though it's not and this one I thought was very nice it's got the crossover where is it <laughs> getting myself in a state it's got crossover back the straps are crossover at the back I'm not particularly that bothered about that but I but I liked I like this detail at the front with like like a petticoat underneath and um and uh, then there was this one, it's called an Arabic style. I don't quite know why, I suppose it was the pattern. I don't usually wear black and white patterns, but I did quite like this. It wasn't, on, it was on its own, on the, with no tag or anything on it, so I had to ask her, and she said, oh yeah, it's half price. And I tried it on, and um, it's quite nice. So you do get some, yes, yeah, some, I think, quite nice things from Sainsbury's. Um, and oh hang on I've got the ones that's that done for purpose um, that was from last week I do believe I showed that that's that nice maxi dress these are the ones I meant to show you from TK Maxx and forgot it's a these were very good value as well this is um um yeah, this was a size too big as well, but it doesn't really matter with this sort of style. It's a see -th quite a see-through, floaty, tight skirt. It'd be lovely for Halloween. I liked this. I thought it was quite nice. I do like things. It might be a bit cold for that time. But mind you, it's usually quite warm in October. And um, nowadays, I had a hot Halloween on the beach once. It was really hot, like a summer's day. Anyway, I'm talking away. I got this dress as well from TK Maxx and this is also a size too big but it doesn't really matter I think with these sort of floaty styles. We see this. I don't know if we can. I don't know if I'm in the right position. It's so difficult to tell. Can you see it? 
I'm not going to try this on, but um, as you can see, it's quite a nice dress. I don't go to TK Maxx that often because there isn't one where I live. Now, I'll just turn this off while I try this skirt on. Now, this is the skirt from Authentic. Um, those, which I got from Half Price in British Home Stores. And um, this is a... Uh, this is my size and um, this fits okay, it's got the pockets, so it's similar to that Dorothy Perkins skirt, that, but the Dorothy Perkins skirt that was in my size was that much shorter than this one as you, in my last haul video I did show it in the changing room and I know most people would have said that looked better, but I felt exposed because it was right like up here somewhere and I thought it was a bit... I'm not used to wearing skirts that short of this particular type, this style, these sort of safari skirts. I'm used to the, like, about knee length, like this one. I feel more comfortable with this one. Now, I'll try, I'll try the Dorothy Perkins one on to show you what I mean. So, the Dorothy Perkins one, as I said, I, I bought it in the larger, the, the size that's too big for me, usually. And this is the one, it's the size larger than I would normally get because I felt the, the one that was in my size was much tighter and much shorter. It was, it was like up here, well you saw it, uh, if you watched my last haul video you would have seen it. So I felt more comfortable really in this one. There were, when I, it doesn't look too bad now I don't think, but when I looked at it, what it looked like in the changing room, the video I did in the changing room, when I watched it back after I bought it and I watched the video that night, I thought, oh, it looks awful, completely, it really un unattractive, it just looks wrong. But, um, because obviously it's meant to be a shorter, tighter style. But I suppose it's not too bad. I suppose it's not too bad. I know it looks a bit, it doesn't look so bad from what I can just about see on screen now. But it, if you saw the video, you would see that it was a shorter fitted style, sort of, sort of like, and I just felt a bit exposed in it, but so I have something to slouch around in. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, it's all right. I'll put the other one on now, hang on. This, this is the Dorothy Perkins long skirt, this is also in a size two bit big big for me but um the it was either one size too big or three sizes too small and I did try the one that was three sizes too small and it did go on and it did, oh everything's in the way here it did go on and it did you know go on me but it was so tight it was like you know like really really figure hugging really really tight and I didn't feel comfortable I have got skirts that are like that but I thought I felt I wanted this one in a looser st oh, style. I'm sorry, I'm sighing with exasperation because of the inadequacy of not knowing where, because I've got this tiny little space here where you can just see. And, um, I've got stuff everywhere. Oh, hang on, I've, that's not all I've got, is it? I've got some, I've got another thing So that rustle, 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 rustle. Sorry about the rustling. I've got another duvet set from Pound Stretcher. I keep on buying duvet sets, which is ridiculous, I know, but it's quite nice. I like the yellow taxis. The New York yellow taxis, so it's quite cheerful. But of course you don't get those nice, I was thinking you've got those nice yellow ones with it, but you don't. So, oh well, I always get yellow pillow slips from somewhere, can't I, if I wanted to recreate that look. <laughs> right, I realised that the retractable Diamante headphones didn't even show up, but it's, it's got pretty glitter on the, all you could see was reflections, because I just watched a bit of it, and um, it's got pretty glittery sparkles, because I thought maybe the headphones had, um, was at fault with my little radio but it, it's not it's um I take them out of the packaging might help no it's still looking washed out there you can think i think you can see the color of it now poundland and they are quite good they let me show you 
because I'm only going to do one single haul, but I'm not going to make it do a double one. It makes it half an hour long. Um, yeah, hang on. You hold that like that, and I'm sure you know how to use retractable headphones, but I've never had retractable headphones before. Oh, hang on. And I'm getting myself in a right mess because obviously I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to um get them to go back. Hang on, they're tied in a knot. Oh dear. I did it the other day, and they. they oh, well, oh, there. Oh. Tied in a right. Hang on. How do you get them to go back then? Hang on, they did, but that. Let me try. Hang on. No, they're not going to do it now. That's strange. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> You obviously must pull, pull them slightly twice, and then they... Oh, anyhow, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, signing off. Well, that was a total waste of time, wasn't it? As, um, let me try again. Uh, retractable. Um, now, I think you hold them like that. And then... Oh, no, that's got in the right mess, this side now. Um, then how do you get them to go back? This is what the problems are... I did it the other day when I used them for the first time. I think you pull it. Obviously, I've never had retractable headphones before. Hang on. No, that's the wrong. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Oh. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Now, how do I get this? Hang on. Now, they're not going to go back in this way now. Hang on. I'm useless, aren't I? I don't know. How do you get them to go back? They're not retracting. They're meant to be retractable. What, oh, what's happened? This should go in as a blooper, really. I'm trying to show how these things work. Hang on. Oh, dear. You know, I use retractable tape measure and things and there's usually a little thing you press and it goes back in but not so with these I thought there was maybe a button you press but oh no they're in the right state now I think I just give this up as a bad job I, can't, I just don't I can't get them to retract now oh why aren't they retracting See, I thought you pulled them twice and then they retract but oh well one side is and what one headphone's gone one's gone oh they're in a the right mess oh hang on well, they've gone back in that side now how do i get the, this bit to get <laughs> this bit to go back i don't know but um oh oh enough signing off <laughs> oh i don't know i'm laughing i feel like crying ridiculous isn't it signing off <laughs> why do i bother and i'm sure most people watching are thinking that themselves why does she bother i don't <sighs> signing off